Hi guys, welcome back. This will be a pretty quick video. I just want to show you that you can also use wait for expat instead of wait for a selector because sometimes you will not have, let's say, nice IDs, etc. and you will be forced to use expat and it's completely all right because Puppeteer has full expat support by default. So just a super quick example. Let's say that after we navigate to the example.com, we know there is an H1 element. And let's say you want to write a check that you will wait for expat containing that H1 element. I know this example is pretty simple and you can use wait for a selector if you are working with expat, but uh, it's not about the selector right now, it's about the approach. Because if you will need to work with some more advanced expat selector, you will do the same. So let me show you. Right after we navigate to the example.com website, again we need to call a wait page dot and in this case you can see it's wait for xpath and now you need to specify the selector in the xpath format so for that h1 it's slash slash h1 like this i know uh, this xpath is pretty simple but even if you want to wait for some pretty complex xpath it will be the same you will still need to type await page wait for xpath so let's just run it to make sure it's working so npm run test. Now the test is waiting for those five seconds. And as you can see, everything is still working. So that's pretty much it. If you don't want for some reason to use wait for selector, you have an option to use wait for xpad. And all difference is that you are passing the element in the xpad format instead of classic selector format. So I think that's it and let's move on.